The way people work, consume content and experience technology to get things done is changing at a rapid pace and there is a growing expectation and demand in the workplace for consumer-friendly experiences when using technology to accomplish tasks. To address the needs of today's business user, SAP's mission was to renew the user experience across all SAP applications with the launch of SAP Fiori. SAP Fiori is a collection of apps that are simple, easy to use and provide an intuitive user experience across a variety of devices for desktop, tablets or smartphones. Using modern design principles, SAP Fiori enables a holistic and consistent user experience that is personalised, responsive and simple, ultimately boosting user productivity and satisfaction. SAP Fiori is built using state-of-the-art HTML5 technology, SAP UI5, and consumes business data through open standards, using RESTful web services during runtime. A single instance of the application supports end users regardless of the device they are using. You can easily build or extend SAP Fiori apps using SAP's web-based development tool for SAP UI5. It addresses the application development process holistically from prototype through deployment, improving developer productivity through wizards, templates and code editors. Leveraging the powerful SAP HANA development platform, we have developed a Fiori app for the SAP Business One summits, which I would like to showcase today. It is just one example where we can demonstrate the type of user experience that is responsive and simple. With the recent success of the SAP Business One Summits this year in Bangkok, Barcelona and Miami, we created a Fiori app that would allow summit participants to easily manage the summit agenda and maximise their time, as well as rate their experience during the sessions held, providing invaluable feedback to the event speakers and organisers. When you first launch the app, you have the option to log in as a new user or existing user. Once logged in, I'm presented with an overview of the agenda sessions by date and time. If you know what you're interested in, you can simply type the title or the subject matter into the search field, such as Fiori. Or you've got the option to select the sort or filter option in the main menu. And this will allow you to sort a filter by ascending or descending order, by track, session or event day. And in this example, we're going to assort and filter by track, and we're interested in the development tracks of the Summit series. Here we then have the option to be able to select the session and check out its overview details. Here we can see the speaker details, we can actually see the time and the location of the session, and a brief overview of the session details. Under the arrow icon, we can also see the session's rating overview, for example, the number of rates for this session and the average overall rating. I've attended the session and would like to provide some feedback, and to do this, I simply select the Rate button. This will allow me to select the number of stars that I'd like to rate this session for, and I can also include any general remarks, such as, Great session. Mustafa. And then I simply submit my feedback details. But since I've already rated this session before, my rating won't actually appear again under the ratings list. If we go back to the, the main section and select the info tab in the main menu, we can also highlight the official agenda for the summit series. We also have access to map details, for example, of where the sessions are located, and we can also view the statistics across these sessions. What these statistics show us is a rating or the average rating across the number of ratings per session. If we would like to view this in an analytical view, we can click on Analytics and this will present the top five breakout sessions. And as we can see here, 
if we click on the SAP Fury session, we can see that there's been 43 rates overall. We've got a rate percentage of 90% and the average rate is 4.62 out of 5. And lastly, following such a positive experience at these events, I can easily leverage social media to share what a success they've been. Under Socialize in the main menu, I've got the option to Twitter, LinkedIn or Facebook any details of the SAP Business One Summits. If I select Twitter, for example, I can easily include what's happening in the Business One Summit and simply provide my username and password details and I can immediately log in and tweet these details from within the SAP Fury app. I've shown you a really simple example of an SAP Fiori app on HANA, which actually only utilised two HANA database tables, one for storing the session information and one for capturing the rating statistics. You can easily build a Fiori app with SAP Business One data to support a transactional process or analytical data, providing a visual overview leveraging the SAP Business One Fiori cockpit, or a fact sheet type data to view essential information and navigate between related objects. So in summary, the basic concept and principles of SAP Fury is it's role-based. It's designed for you, your needs and how you work. It decomposes complex applications into a task-based experience with one central entry point for each user. It's responsive. It supports how and where you work at any time. It adapts to all sizes, devices and versions, and channels to provide a common user experience. It's simple. SAP Fury apps follow a 113 experience, one user, one scenario, three screens. It knows when to provide the right context with meaningful data. It's coherent. It provides one fluid, seamless experience. It's a user experience that speaks the same design language and is coherent with your brand. And it's delightful. It enables an emotional connection with a low barrier for adoption, enabling customers to adapt and users to personalize. You can design apps that apply the SAP Fiori user experience to focus on the most critical and common activities that are designed around how people work. So check out the technical guide on how to develop an SAP Fiori app following the SAP Community Network link. This SAP Fiori app showcase has been developed by the SAP Business One Solution Architects team and is for demonstration purposes only.